Hey guys, welcome. Uh, I'm going to play a round of golf in this video. It's going to be relatively unedited. Um, I'm going to just talk through different processes that I go through when playing around, how I think about things, how I analyze the shots before and after the shot as well. In fact, I have my board here and I'll be monitoring the, the big three that I talk about, which is ground contact. So that's whether you catch it fat, thin or good. Face contact, so whether you hit toe, heel or center, and then face direction, so basically the ball direction. I know uh, path and face contribute to that, but for this purposes, I, I measure just face angle, really. Um, so I'm playing the win, which is local to me. I'm a Vegas resident, so um, it is a par 70. It's not the longest course, 6,700 yards. I'm not a long hitter, but when you take into account it is a par 70, um, it's a decent length. Before we start the round, just a real quick note to get my free ebook showing you how to improve your own game. Look for the link to golf hacks in the description. So I can't fly this bunker here. This is 295 yards or so to fly it. So I'm, as I said, I'm a short hitter. I mean, a good knock for me is about 280. So I'm just gonna go straight down the middle, hopefully. That's the, the plan. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see where it goes from here. Okay, felt a decent strike. Uh, it's gone left, 30 yards left, 28 yards left. So a little in the rough, no biggie. I mean, that happens. It will go down as a mistake. So I'll get my little pen out here and I'll put one under the directional part to signify that I've hit it left. That was a mistake. Anything within 20 yards either side of the target with a driver is a pretty decent shot. Uh, 30 yards is, is a little offline. Um, let's have a look here. So here's the green on a little shelf, tucked away, 170 yards, coming out of the pine needles, pine straw, 170. So that is going to be probably a seven iron for me. Now the ground here slopes a little bit to the right. So I'm just going to angle this a tiny bit to the left. So I'm going to go more towards the middle of the green. So in this simulator, the uh, the ground will slope. It'll tell you in the bottom right-hand corner. It says 1.2 right, which means that it's a little ball below feet. So the ball should go attached to the right. So I'm aiming left just to account for that. Uh, looks online. Get down, get down. Ah. Okay, so that was actually just club selection. As an error, uh, I didn't, uh, I hit the ground correctly. I hit the center of the face, it felt very flush. Uh, and direction was great as well. I've actually got a, a measurement up here on the right hand side called raw, offline raw in brackets. And that will tell me how far away it was relative to my intended target where I aimed. So I was pretty, pretty much online there. So we, we're left with a little chip nine yards out of the rough so just a little dinky chip hopefully get within the gimme area gimme areas on this six feet away i've knocked it stiff anyway thank god but uh yeah six feet gimmies i mean it's, it makes putting easier makes it a little unrealistic but it is what it is we are playing simulated golf so this pin is on the left there's not a lot of space between the pin and the left side of the green. So I'm just gonna buffer this a little bit to the right. So that gives me a tiny bit more room, both left and right. So I don't wanna aim directly at the pin here. We're 200 yards away. That will be a good six iron for me. So hopefully carrying maybe 190 or so, 195, something like that with a good strike. Okay, struck it well, just left it out a little bit to the right. And hopefully it's not gonna hit a shelf and go off to the side. So I got the right yardage, finished 200 total. Now, in terms of offline, I've got 13, 14 yards left to the pin. So that would be a pretty offline shot, but where I aimed it, don't forget, I buffered it to the right. So if I look at my raw number here, I'm only nine yards away from my target. So yes, it was a little right, 
but it's not classed as a mistake. Nine yards away from your target at this distance is actually a pretty decent shot. So, you know, sometimes you play safe and then you hit the wrong side of safe, but at least I'm left with a putt instead of a short chip. In terms of strokes gained, that's much better. So this is a right to left putt, 40 feet uphill a little bit. So it's playing about close to 50 feet. Forgot to see what the stimp was on this, but I'm guessing it was about 12 and that seems about right. So I have a little system mentally. I know what a 40 foot putt feels like, a 50 foot putt. I only use that one when I'm indoors putting. Uh, when I'm outdoors, I play much more on instinct. This one, par five. So when I'm monitoring shots as well, I'm always, always, every single shot, at least every single full shot, I am thinking about how is my ground contact, not with the driver, but hopefully there's no ground contact with the driver. But with irons, how is my ground contact? How is my face contact? And then I'm monitoring the direction as well. And then I'm noting down on the board if there are any faults in those three areas. Come around, a little offline. Well, actually, it's not, that's not bad. That's closer to, closer to my target than I thought. It was eight yards offline, which is actually a pretty accurate drive. 290 down there. I will take that. It's a decent knock for me. So we've got a par five, opportunity to reach in two, 216 yards. Let's have a little look at the green here. So now I, there's water on the right here. So I just wanna, I'm gonna buffer and aim at the left side of the green. And if I hit it straight, I'll be on the left side of the green. If I miss it to the right, I should be okay still. And if I miss it left, I'm just in the bunker, no biggie. Um, the ground is going a little to the left as well. So actually I'm gonna recalibrate that because of the ground I'll go a little closer to the pin, just a couple of yards closer to the pin. So I have a four iron here. Good hit for me, we'll carry about 205, something like that. Okay, decent strike here, yeah, 203 carry. Just pulled it a little left, so I'm gonna end in the bunker. Again, safe strategy, just hit the wrong side of my error. You know, every time you hit a shot, sometimes it's gonna go online, sometimes it's gonna go a little left, sometimes it's gonna go a little right. Captain obvious, um, but we need to give ourselves buffers for all of those outcomes. That's the not so obvious part. If I'd aimed at the pin there and then hit my right miss, I could have bounced down into the water. So just playing it safe it is a par five as well. All right, we've got 20 yards left out of the bunker. Get up there, roll out, roll out. Okay, good, we're in gimme range. A Couple of feet away from the pin. I need a mark down as well on that last shot. I missed a little bit to the left. It wasn't a huge error. You know, for a four iron, it was left of where I aimed, but in the bunker, but I also aimed a little left of the flag, so it wasn't as bad as it looked. It wasn't as offline as it looked, really. It's only about, I think, 10 yards or so left of where I wanted it to go. All right, pretty straightforward drive on this one. Four sixteen. Looks to be going a touch left. Hopefully it'll stay in the fairway. I don't think it will. All right, this is on the cusp of what I would call an offline drive. 24 yards offline. Not awful, um, but I am going to mark it down. And there's a definite pattern occurring now. Most of my shots are missing left or all of the errors have been left. So I'm gonna note that down and start to make a slight correction. All right, out of the rough, 128. And the ground is sloping to the right slightly. So I'm just gonna aim 
touch to the left to account for that. 127, I think, should be able to get a 48 degree there. Okay. It's going to land short and hopefully bounce up. Yeah, I think I got a bit too greedy with the club there. So not an awful shot. Ground contact was decent. Not perfect, but not de uh, not bad. Face contact was good. Direction was good. What was that? 0.0, .0 offline. So right on my line. Um, I just picked the wrong club, I'll be honest. I should have gone, judged a little bit more of the rough there. So this one's a decent opportunity. This one looks like a reasonably straight putt. Little left to right, 16 feet uphill a little bit, so playing 20 foot. Oh, burned the edge. All right, I've given it a run, it's a gimme. So we are one under after five. All right, so we have a dangerous hole here. If I zoom in on this, water left, we do not want to go there. So, and I've got a slight left miss at the moment. I'm just going to buffer it to the right side. Again, this way, if I hit it straight, it's good. If I miss it left, lots of those will still be good. And if I miss it right, okay, I'm dealing with a chip, but not the end of the world. 157 downhill, playing 152. Should be a nice, smooth 9 iron for me. Okay, and there's a perfect example of playing safe strategy. I've tugged it a tiny bit left. Not awful, I'll be honest, 4.4 yards left. But if I'd aimed that at the pin, that would have been a little dicey. I would have had my heart in my mouth. And as it is, we have a birdie putt. So good strategy. Sometimes your bad miss will work out well for you. So 10 feet. Uphill, three inches, so playing about 12 foot. Let's roll this one in. Come on. <laughs> Just not getting the speed right. Just blasting through the break on this. If you guys follow me, you'll know I'm not a great putter. Uh, I tend to be a little better on the simulator at least, but in real life, not a great putter. But pretty good with irons. Driver tend to be accurate, but not long. So this one, I can clear that bunker on the right with a good hit. I'm just going to go down the left side of the bunker here. If I hit it well with the driver, should have no problem carrying that bunker. If I miss it left, there's buffer there. If I miss it right, right is the dangerous miss. Might be blocked behind a tree or something, but I think this is the good strategy to go for. Get as far down there as I can. Okay, struck it well, going a little right, but I did strike it okay. So hopefully I'm gonna pass those trees. Oh, I just hit it. Okay, good luck and bad luck at the same time. Nip the tree. But, uh... so again, not an offline shot really. It's slightly to the right, 20 yards to the right. Within 20 yards, that's where my cutoff point is for what I deem an offline shot so with a driver. So it's not too bad at all. Right, so we've got ball above our feet, so this is going left. So I've got to aim to the right. 88 yards. So it should be a smooth sand wedge, although it is coming out of the rough. But uh, my high lofted sand wedge here. Pretty stock one of those. Okay, so it's going online. Spin, 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 sit. Not gonna get too much spin out of that rough. All right, so in terms of ground contact there, felt good. Face contact right on the middle. I didn't feel any twisting. So everything was good technically there. Um, decent shot as well. In terms of offline, it says it's two yards left of my intended target, so. 
pretty good shot and we've got 10 feet for birdie, nine foot for birdie. Good chance, get in. Okay, we got one back. Made up for a few of those putts earlier. All right, par three now. So this is a dangerous one. Uh, if you hit it right, obviously there's water there, but right tends to come with an open face. Open face comes with more spin loft, more spin loft comes with shorter shot. That's why we tend to hit short and right. So I'm gonna aim at the pin here and I'm gonna aim to with a good shot. If I hit it well, I should go a touch past the pin. 152 downhill, 148. So I'm gonna hit a smooth nine. So a good nine will go about 155. So if I hit this really well, it should be past the pin, um, which I will take. If I accidentally leave the face open, it should be okay as well. The only bad one is a, a left miss here, but again, safer than the water. Okay, I felt like that's good. I did hold back on the gas a little bit. Spin, 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 and I'm glad I did. Okay, we got a gimme, gimme birdie. I will take it. That was what, 0, 0.0 offline. Ground contact felt good, it was right on the sweet spot, and then direction was perfect, Whereas a, where I aimed it at least. Not perfect, or I would have gone in the hole, but uh, maybe I shifted my target away from the hole, but we'll take a birdie. All right, it's out of bounds on the left here, so I'm just gonna buffer slightly to the right-hand side, even though it's a wide fairway, and I shouldn't hit the out of bounds. We do not want any of it. We don't want to bring it into play at all. I have had a couple of left misses. All right, par five coming up, birdie chance. Oh, I hit that well. About as good as I can hit it. Uh, luckily, I, I buffered it more to the right because I've hit it 15 yards left. Again, 15 yards is not a bad shot. But uh, if I'd aimed that more down the center, that might have been just in the or close to the rough. So we've got 240 left. So a little look at the green. Okay, so the green is well guarded. I'm just going to hit it up there as far as I can and hope for the best. Going slightly to the right, the ground, but I think I'd rather be on the right side if anything. So I'm just gonna aim it, I'm gonna keep it aimed at the flag and hit my best, my Sunday best with a five wood, hopefully. Hopefully that can get up there pretty close. Even if I'm in the greenside bunkers, I will take that. Oh, pushed it a little right, I think. Not too bad. Seven yards offline to the right. At 240 is not a bad shot. Again, so that took a bad bounce. And I look at where, what, what was in control for me. So I could mark that down as offline, you know, 17, 18 yards away from the pin. But my mental target was slightly to the right of the pin anyway. You know, I was allowing for the ground. And it only landed, if I look at the raw here, it only landed 7.6 yards offline. At 240, that is a, a very good shot. So it wasn't fat, it was good ground contact, good, um, good face contact, and that's decent direction. It's just kind of luck of the draw with the bounce. So nothing to mark down there. So you gotta kind of decipher your shots as well when you're looking at what was actually bad about it. Certain amount of offline is more than acceptable. 18 yards, 18 yards, okay. Spin, spin, spin. Oh, not so good at judging these short shots indoors. Getting better at it. Takes time, takes practice. Some of the guys who, I, I watch some of the guys on YouTube who practice this indoor simulator stuff and they are excellent with the short game. 
I will do more practice on it, hopefully get better. 10 footer, 10 footer for birdie. Let's get this one. Pretty straightforward shot. Got it, another birdie. So we are five under, four under, huh? Oh, two, getting ahead of myself. Four under after nine, I'll take this. This is a long one for me, 465. Par four. As I said, I'm not a long hitter. I do maximize my poor club head speed by optimizing the launch. I launch the ball about 17 degrees, 2,000 RPMs of spin most of the time. So my launch is optimized. Not on that one. Well, that was not too bad. A little high in the face. Actually, it's better than I thought it was. Yeah, I didn't like the strike. It was a little high on the face. A little too high on the face. A little high on the face is good. I was close to the crown. <laughs> but I got my 290 yards of distance, so I'll take it. Um, okay, into the green now. 172. Okay, so I'm going to buffer this ever so slightly to the right because the ground is sloping to the left. And this is going to be an eight iron for me. So yeah, that last one directionally was good. Six, seven yards to the right, 6.7. So pretty on line. Okay, might be a little shorter than I thought. Big bounce. Yeah, it's right in between clubs for me, that one. I probably could have struck it better than that. So I had the choice of, for me, a hard seven. I uh, would have gone past the pin if I'd hit it well. That might have been the better choice in hindsight. I took an eight iron, hit it okay, a tiny bit fat. I'm gonna be, be really tough on myself here, mark that down as a fat shot, but it didn't really cost me too much. I'm still on the green, putting for birdie, 24 feet away, which is tour average proximity from that range. So if anything, that was just the wrong club selection. All right, because it was an average strike. For me, if you strike it average, you should be on the pin. If you strike it well, you should be past the pin. If you strike it average and you're short of the pin, it's the wrong club usually. All right, 24 feet. Uphill six inches, so we're playing 30 feet here. So just walk away with a two putt, I'll be happy here. Slow down, slow down, slow down. All right, not bad. Give me, give me four. Nothing special, nothing to write home about on that one. Oh, this is interesting. Par three. Oh, I remember this one 240. And look at that pin placement right on a little shelf there. So this is one where I'm going to aim more for the middle of the green and just get out of there. So middle of the green here, 230. Okay, so I'm going to go, it's a little too long for a four iron for me. I can't get a four iron, 240. Five wood might be too far, but I'm just going to go with a smooth five wood. Come on, come around, come around. I'll take that. I didn't, the, the groan from me, the, oh, <laughs> I hit it a little bit too much off the toe. Um, and I felt like I kept the face a little open there. Luckily, sometimes when you hit the toe, you get some gear effect and it brings it back in. So I think those two issues countered each other. So directionally, that was fine. It wasn't an awful toe shot but enough for me to feel it. But it's 7.4 yards off line, so it's not, it's not a bad shot. Directionally, it was good. It's just a long hole. I mean, we've left ourselves 50, 50 foot, but to be honest, we're on the green. I'll take it. Could have been a little closer, but I'll take it. All right, 50 feet uphill, one foot. So this is playing at least 60, 65 feet. So it's a fair old knock. Okay, get up there, get up there. 
All right, I'll take it. Tap in birdie, uh, tap in par. Wish it was a tap in birdie. All right, par five now, but a monster, monster. 587. It's a monster for me, because I'm a short knocker. But I will give it my best. All right, hitting into the sphere there. Like how they have that on this a big dome thing in the background. Oh, I left it a little. I felt like I left the face open there. Interesting. Okay. Feel is not real. I'm actually trying to present the face a little bit more open because my first two or my first three directional faults were left. I'm actually doing something in my swing to try and make the pattern more to the right. Lucky I did on that, because if I didn't, that would be more left. But as it is, that was only eight and a half left, eight and a half yards left, so good direction. Strike was good, decent enough. So now we have the decision, let's get it as far down there as possible. Yeah, I'm going to try and get it as far down there as I can. We could lay up to a, a bigger number, 100 yards or so. But strokes gain says get it down there as far as possible because you tend to be better from 50 yards than 100 yards. Okay, good. Directionally, it says two and a half yards left. So pretty online. Ground contact was good. Face contact was good. I will take it. So we're left with 52 yards. Not the nicest of shots. You do not want to hit this short. There's a risk of going in the water. So much so that I'm actually going to buffer this a few feet to the right. So even on these short shots, these super short shots, I'm still thinking get that ball or, or make sure you don't go in danger. So 50 yards. So I'm going to play my 60 yard swing and just open the face a touch to take some off it. Oh, lucky I did open because I've nailed that. Spent not the best there. I think if I'm honest, as I was halfway in my downswing, my brain said, don't hit this short because <laughs> I know I know I've done this before on this hole hit it short and it goes in that water it's, it's like a little funnel there so all right more of a mental error than anything so my brain was like don't hit it short and then I accelerated super hard through ended up carrying it 55 which is a little long all right we got 20 feet left downhill six inches playing 14 feet, 15 feet. Should be good pace. Got it. <laughs> All right. We are putting on perfect greens on the simulator. Um, can be a little easier with putting. It's, it's very difficult when you first start putting on these sims because obviously you're, you're using verbal commands instead of visual. You can't look at it and go, Okay, it's this far based on the visuals because you're looking at a 2D screen. So you have to use the numbers in your head instead. So it can be a little difficult to start. But once you get used to it, putting is actually easier on a sim. All right, 204. Downhill, so 198. Water on the left. I'm just going to buffer this ever so slightly to the right. And for me, this will be a 6 iron. 198. Felt really weird in my backswing then, but seems to have worked out well. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna write that down. It's it was a tiny bit thin and a tiny bit healy, and then combined with I I really didn't go at after that and I needed to. Um, so there wasn't a huge fault there, just a combination of three small errors 
the combined leaving me short. Directionally it was good though. I mean, the face direction was pretty good. I think at the top of my swing, I felt like don't hook this left in the water. Maybe because the camera's on me, I don't know. Um, but sometimes that happens, you know, that's good to understand that even at the lower handicap pro level, you know, I, I played a maybe a plus three to plus five, something like that in the real world. But even at my level, you have these random thoughts pop into your head occasionally and you can't stop them, just have to play through them. 33 foot. foot. Get up there. Go, go, go. Okay. Two foot for a tap in par. How are we doing? We got five under after 13. Not, not bad. Not tearing it up like some of the guys can do on simulator golf, but I'll take it. And we got a par five coming up. 518. Should be reachable in two with a good drive. Felt like I hit it well. Should be down there, maybe 280 or so. Maybe 290. Good bounce, 289, close. We got 226 left. So directionally that last shot was raw, half a yard off line. So on a string with that one, strike was good. So nothing to note there. All good, I only note my faults. So I know what to work on next time around. All right, pretty straightforward green as well. I'm going to hit a four iron. This is a really good four iron for me to reach it. 226. It's too short for a five wood, but a good knock with a four iron. So I'm happy with anything down around the green. Okay, struck it decent. Should bounce up there. Pitch on the green. Ah, I can't believe that bounced left. That should bounce right off that lie. Okay, well anyway, decent shot. So that went 10 yards left, 9.5 yards left of where I was aiming. At 225 yards, that's not a bad shot. That's not classes are offline. I would say anything like 13 yards or so at this distance. You're looking about maybe 5% or so. So 10, yeah, like 11, 12, 13 yards would be an offline shot, but I'll take that. That was good for me, I'll take it. All right, now we have a little chip, 10 yard chip. Just a little bump and run. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, tap in birdie. We are at six under. After 14 holes, pretty straightforward shot here. Oh, I remember this one, the tree. There's a tree around the green. There's a bunker in play right in my yardage as well, 270 yards away, right in my carry yardage, 260 to 280 or so. And then the green is guarded by a tree, usually guards the pin. Felt good. It says eight yards left, which is pretty noth nothing. Pretty minimal. So that's an online shot. I'll take that. Strike was decent, 290 yards down there. And now this is the shot. So this tree there, you gotta get up and over. I'm gonna take it on, 146. Oh, we've even got the cart girl coming here. <laughs> Simulator's so realistic. Um, so I'm going to go with a high nine. I'm going to try and hit a super high nine. I could go with a wedge, but I can't, I'd have to flush a wedge to go 146. And I'd rather send this 150, if anything, and really get past the tree. So I'm going to try and hit a super high nine. 
for myself. So I got ball forward in the stance. Tugged it a little. Ah! Oh, I got through the tree. Little luck there. And well, I, I, to be honest, hitting the tree probably <laughs> might have helped me knock the distance off. All right, we're on the green anyway. We went 155 total, which is about what I was thinking. All right, we've got a super breaky putt here. I'm going to aim it up there. The break is all early on, so it's going to knock it, knock it offline from the get-go. 32 feet. Go on. Uh, break wasn't bad. Maybe if I'd hit it hard enough. We got a tap in par. 357. Okay. I'm going to just buffer it down the right side a little bit because there is out of bounds down the left. So whenever I see out of bounds on the left and nothing on the right, I tend to buffer it a little bit more, aim, place my target more down the right side. 357, decent birdie chance here if we hit a good drive. Oh. Ah, so, th well, this is one of those. Stay in, be a good shot. All right. Um, so that actually doesn't go down as a bad shot in my stats. Why? Because it was only 14 yards offline from my target. Remember, I buffered my target to the right. This is a very narrow fairway as well. I buffered it slightly to the right to avoid any out of bounds. I hit it 13 yards offline according to the raw, 14, sorry. Um, so it's not a bad shot. So even though we ended up in the rough, that was just, it was okay. I'll take it. All right, so we're on a little three-tiered green here. 88 yards, 89 yards. Luckily, that is a nice number for me. A nice 58-degree wedge. Should be good here. Should be good. Ah. Surprise, so it says 2.6 2 yards left. Felt like it was more than that, so not a bad offline shot. Strike was good. Tiny bit high in the face, maybe a touch fat, but nothing awful. Nothing that would have changed the distance much. And centered strike. So we have a 10 footer, 11 footer for birdie. Pretty flat. Oh, you've gone and left it short, right in the jaws. <laughs> Disaster. Okay. Well, it is what it is. All right, 481 yards, par four. What a monster. For me especially, short hitter. This should be a par five. I joke. I'm all right with it. We need one, one monster thrown in there at least. Struck it well, felt good to me. Looks down the target, yep. One yard offline, it says. Not, I would have rather that bounce be more forwards than it was, but we got 280 out of it. So we're left with 202 from the fairway. So let's have a look at this green. Okay, nothing too much to note here. I'm just gonna buffer it ever so slightly to the left for a couple of reasons. I'd rather be on the left side and the lie of the ground is going slightly to the right. So 202, <sighs> right in between clubs for me. Good six iron or average five. I've been striking it well. So I'm gonna go with the six iron. Get up there, a little high on the face, but it should land on the front and bounce up there. Go, go, go. Yeah, I'll take that. 
So I think a six was the right club because I could have struck it better than that. If I'd struck it perfectly, I'd be the same distance, just the other side of the pin. That's about how I like the strategy to be. Okay, left to right. Oof, how much is this? My brain is glitching out here. I'm gonna place it there, 12 foot, 13 foot, uphill slightly, okay. Don't leave it in the jaws again. Yes, okay. <laughs> I didn't wanna do the same thing as last time. All right, so we made up for that last putt. 17th hole, we are at seven under par. I'll take this for a round of golf. Normally, if people are wondering about sim golf versus real golf, it's, it's real, you have to hit the shots. I mean, this is a GC quad, so it's measuring ball launch. Um, so you, you know, you're know you not gonna shoot super under par if you don't hit the shots. But sim golf does have advantages. Six foot gimmies help. Uh, haven't helped me too much today. Most of my, uh, my gimmies have been tap-ins, but six foot gimmies does help. The fact the greens are perfect helps as well. Uh, the short game shot's very predictable, so once you become good at short game, you can become really good on the sim because you don't have the unpredictability of real life, you know, getting a blade of grass trapped between the face and changing the spin rates, things like that. Okay, not the best of strikes, a little low, a little on the heel, but uh, not a bad one. And if anything, I didn't want to lace that one because there's a bunker down there so decent shot offline by one and a half yards in other words dead down the middle i will take that all right we got a little backstop here so i could hit this a couple of yards past and still have this be okay but that is an ideal sand wedge number for me i got my this is a 58 or 56. I don't even know my own clubs. 56. So that is an ideal. If I hit this well, 102 yards should be the number. I'm going to try and hit it even harder than that. If I go past, it should spin back nicely. Oh, I haven't. Maybe it's not my 100 yard club. Get up, get up, get up. Don't spin, don't spin. Oh, spun myself out of the gimme zone. Decent shot though, ground contact was good. The reason why I knew it wasn't hard enough, I looked straight at the raw number there and it said 95. And I'm like, ah, I want this to go 105 in the air. So maybe I'm a little weaker today, who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe it's not my 100 yard club, I need to get my yardages sorted. Eight foot for birdie. We deserve this one after that shot. Okay, we're at eight under, and we've got a killer hole to finish. Oh, it's horrible. 240 yards, water all down the left. When I played the win in real life, it's a $10,000 opportunity if you have a hole in one. And I hit a great shot. I... Pitched it past the pin. We were actually playing from, I think, the whites. They said we could go from any, any tee we wanted. So I think it was about 180 that we played it from. Pitched it past. Apparently, the people in front had just finished and they were watching. And it spun back and lipped out for a, a $10,000 hole-in-one. I did get the birdie, but I would have rather that hole-in-one than the $10,000. Okay, bounce left, bounce left, bounce left. Uh, you know what, at that range, I'm not too unhappy with that. 240 to me, it's right in between clubs as well. It's like not a, not a laced five wood, but uh, I'll take that. We went 237 total, 10 yards offline. So again, in terms of direction, it's not a fault that. That's, that's within tour proximity so we got 12 
yards left. Little bump and run to finish. Get it within gimme range, hopefully. Should be good. Oh, get in. Get in. Oh, <laughs> come on. Give it to me. All right, so we finished there. So looking at my faults, I played pretty well today. I hit the ball well. I will be doing more of these. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I don't know. Leave a comment below. Um, but just showing you the faults. What I want you to get from this is understand that every time you hit a bad shot, you can put it in terms of it was either ground contact issue, so fat or thin, face contact issue, toe or heel, or directional issue. For me, typical of low handicap players, pros, not too many strike issues. I didn't have any that were off the toe or heel that cost me. Yes, nothing was perfect, but nothing cost me in terms of that. One was a little fat. Uh, again, I was, being, I was being strict on myself there, no thins. But the directional errors were the ones that got me more. I had three directional errors, all of them left. So there's a pattern there. And that tends to be my pattern. You know, if I miss, if I miss it, it tends to be fat. If I miss the sweet spot, it tends to be toe. And if I miss directionally, it tends to be more left. So I just have to monitor these things, make sure they're not getting too far out of hand. In terms of the round of golf, 62. So eight under par. I will take that. In terms of the statistics, here are the strokes gain data relative to scratch handicap. So I drove the ball the equivalent of a plus 2.8 handicap, hitting a little longer than normal because playing at Vegas elevation. And I hit 66% fairways, never really went in trouble, more importantly. Approach shots with my strength, hitting a few shots close for birdies. And these stats are pretty close to my real life stats, maybe a little better on the sim because it's a more controlled environment. And uh, where it really stands out as being different to my real game is in putting. I'm far better in the sim than in real life. It's something that I will be working on at some point. Driving was 288 yards median. Average scratch handicap is around 240 yards, but Vegas elevation does help me there. And in terms of greens in regulation, one of the most important stats, I hit 88% greens, missing one long on the first hole from club selection. And then one on the last, just through it being a 240 yard behemoth of a par three. And if you want to learn to hit more greens through better strike, check out my strike plan course in the link in the description or go to adamyounggolf.com.